Next up is Style For Real. Come on up, guys. Good morning to everybody. Thank you for being here, here in us startups. You are probably more crazy than us because it's Sunday, it's Saturday morning and you are here, here in us. I am Mauro from Style for Real, um, a new platform that lets you um, show your clothes and share style tips with your friends and other fashion lovers. If you love fashion, you probably know that there are many ways to express your passion online at the moment. For example, you could create your fashion blog or just post your photos on fashion, photo fashion communities or on photo fashion applications. A wide range of opportunities apparently, but in reality it is a small niche of users. In fact, if we get down to numbers, we discovered that there are just uh, um, tens of thousands of fashion bloggers worldwide, um, about one million users on uh, fashion community platforms, while people who like fashion are more than 100 million worldwide. Uh, if we ask Facebook, there are more than 70, mi um, 70 million people who like uh, fashion. So a huge gap and in our opinion, a huge opportunity. Why those people are not participating to the social aspect of fashion now? Because uh, social fashion now is tailored around fashion bloggers and fashion bloggers are semi-professional models or wanna be in the stars in the fashion system. Why your average Joe and Mary who likes to dress, likes to buy clothes, just doesn't care about that. So we wanted to create a completely different platform with a different approach, which is let your wardrobe speak for you. So with Style for Real, you can uh, snap photos of your clothes, you can uh, publish and share them with friends, and comments get voting. And uh, once your clothes are on the platform, you can also begin to play with clothes. What we mean is that we are launching next month a new feature that will allow to create what we call style boards. That means you pick up clothes from different wardrobes of different people, for example, three girls in this picture, and compose this uh, visual style recommendation. And what's great is that being a social, people who get their clothes picked up get a warning, hey, somebody suggested a style to you, they can participate and becomes an engaging game inside the community. So it's, uh, we believe, a fantastic tool to help your friend find new clothes to buy and to let your friends help you to discover new things. So you can obviously also search the community by yourself to discover new things, and you can also buy new things. We direct you to electronic shops where you can buy uh, clothes. We are also experimenting with barcodes as a means to enhance your shopping experience. For example, one application will be that you could uh, uh, connect physical objects to our community to get social recommendation or recommendation from brands while you are shopping. Our business model is based on two sources of revenue. First one is affiliate marketing. Uh, if you buy something coming from our platform, we gain a commission from online shops. And the second is advertising. We're introducing some uh, innovative advertising format, contextual advertising, and also embedded editorial content, for example, to expose your new collection or new brands. The market is huge, it's booming. Online um, fashion is booming at the moment, online retailing, uh, even on mobile, and uh, um, uh, fashion advertising in one of the few sectors in advertising that is growing at the moment in crisis in the situation. Our approach to market is to um, involve influencer we are collaborating with uh, some independent uh, easings on fashion and also we are involving uh, fashion bloggers to gain their um, community of followers and we're working with independent designer emerging designers and emerging brands to uh, start to uh, enter the market um, due to mm, these numbers and the situation we believe that we could reach break even in 2014 and uh, 50 million euros uh, revenues in 2017. Our team is made up of five persons, three founders with a strong technical background, and I've been working in the fashion field as an ERP consultant. And we also have two other collaborators to enlarge our abilities. We are asking for 75,000 euros to complete development and to test our business model. And we believe that after that, in about six months, we will need a second round of investment for about 400 uh, Ks. 
So that's our uh, platform, the Style for Reality, the first, pl first platform to share your style, play with friends, uh, get style tips, and buy. Um, great job in articulating the, the, the vision. I, I know that this movement is going to continue to make a mem momentum because you see what Pinterest is doing and you see what Nuji, which you might be familiar with, is doing, which is, you know, let, let me use my social network to create this sort of feed of things I really enjoy. So definitely yeah. you can see where that's going to take off. But for that very reason, you also have lots of competition. Um, and the issue here is differentiation, right? Yeah. Um, I recently saw one, the Shoe Addict, which was just a vertical for shoes, and it, you're starting to get this fracturing of, of verticals. So I believe it's going to happen, but maybe you can walk us through how you're going to, how you think that you're going to be able to acquire, especially in, in just, you're, you're keeping it broad, you're keeping it into fashion. Yeah. How are you going to keep people there and engaged and, and attracted and, and making this a definitive social network? Okay. Well, as you told, most platforms are just based on basically photo sharing. Okay, you just share your photos, and that's the uh, the end of it. Just share your photos. We believe we are actually we are the first platform to introduce some gaming experience inside this fashion photo sharing because you can pick up clothes of different people, mix them up, uh, have a new way to suggest style, which is. Uh, visual style suggestions that nobody does at the moment. So this engaging game and this visual style suggestion a, is a unique feature of our platform that nobody does. Everybody's just photo sharing and that's all. Um, I'd like to follow up on the same yeah. question. I, I guess uh, y here you have your competitive uh, advantage in, in creating this gaming with the style boards. Yeah. I guess um, l let's take a step back and get uh, to, the, to the actual customer. Uh, and if you've actually done um, any type of, I don't want to use the word research, but that's a word that comes out, to understand that this is a competitive differentiator, that you will be able to take, um, and I think just sharing uh, uh, photos mm -hmm. is maybe what people were doing three months ago, but what I'm reading is that mm -hmm. uh, there's integration now between you know, back-end databases with a lot of products and, and matching with pictures and, and making offers. So I think um, e the, the competition is, is fierce in this, at yeah. least that's our opinion. And I guess if you look at what the customer is doing and how they're interacting, is this something that you know you have something special that has not yet been been uh, been analyzed, and, and that you're, you're you're doing this based on kind of a customer uh, intuition um, or problem that you're solving? Okay. Thanks. Well, our uh, app is out in Italy from the first of, of September, but it's basically an MVP, so it doesn't have sideboards at the moment. Actually, the sideboards idea we had the idea to. Uh, give in some way the um, possibility to users to uh, to share style tips, but we didn't know exactly how to do that. And actually, our first users, some of them were doing this. They were taking photos of very clothes put here and there, and we're photographing them. And because in our application you can uh, say, I, if there's a sort of tagging clothes you have with clothes you have in your wardrobe, they were doing this, so we say, hey, that's how we could do that type of uh, style suggestion. So we don't have data about that at the moment because it is not a feature that is active, because, but the idea came out from our users, basically. Is actually an emergent behavior when not in, in our platform. Notice. And the photos that are being taken are not of a barcode or a QR code, it's being taken just of the actual piece. So yeah. it's a. Yeah, it's a, actually, we have already integrated barcode reader into the application to experiment a bit. And we've discovered that we actually expect nobody to, <laughs> to, to be friend to load barcode. Instead, we found that some people, well, at the moment, they do try to load the barcode. At the moment, we can't give uh, value to uh, barcode uh, loading because we uh, don't have yet um, deals with brands or that stuff. So it just say, hey, well, at the end of uh, in adding a clothes, you say, hey, you have a barcode tag, scan the code. You do that, but doesn't, uh, nothing happens at the moment. So you, they try the first time, a couple of times, but so they are trying, so we believe that if the platform is launched, uh, uh, effectively, they, it could be a trend. You, you're building quite quite a bit complex platform in terms of you know 
affiliation and customer and barcodes and so on. Yeah. So w- could you elaborate a little bit more on your go-to-market strategy? So which steps are you going to take and how you're going to build the network you, yeah, you need it to be? Our first step is obviously to build the community. So the barcode thing is just a, a thing of a future, we believe. It's not, mm, we are trying to explain if someone is interested in that, but we, it's not what we are uh, focusing on at the moment. We are focusing on building the community. So that's our first, uh, because sideboards recommendation and all the things that are connected to barcodes work only if you have a community you have many sideboards we have many people suggesting styles and that's obviously so our first step is to build the community barcodes will come next year probably as a really strong feature not at the moment Um, it, it's a it's a big question but maybe you can just get to a couple of the drivers of monetizing that community how you're going to monetize that. So you have a break even in 2014. Yeah. So this community will generate revenue fairly yeah, quickly and radically. Yeah, well, it depends if it explodes. We suppose that it explodes in users in a couple of years and for about 1 million users in a couple of years. That's not so impossible. Okay, actually there are some platforms that are web numbers that could compare to that. And uh, we are monetizing, first of all, we are introducing in the upcoming upgrade uh, the possibility to buy clothes. You see some clothes in the there's a stream like a sort of Pinterest like stream of all the clothes of all the people of the network. And if you click on them, there's a shopping icon. Okay, if you click the shopping icon, we say that. Uh, cloth or that brand plus a category, for example, shoes from Diesel, they can be bought at Ux or these shops, or Zalando, and we connect with them. And actually we are in Ux next week to discuss with them. So <laughs> we offer some interesting news to ship. So what's the current uh, engagement rate? Well, it just started, so we have we, we don't have yet starboards. We have uh, about one less than two something about one uh, um, thousand seven hundred users that have downloaded okay the application. About seven hundred have registered by mail because we haven't uh, yet activated Facebook integration, so you have to type your mail to <laughs> register at the moment. And uh, there's quite a level of, of engagement because about. Uh, 500 or 600 people connect uh, continuously. Some people are continuously every day connecting or posting new things. So we can believe that it be. And the medium time spent on the platform is uh, 15 minutes. Uh, so user stays there and there's more probability yeah. to convert to thing. purchases. Thank you guys. <laughs>